them talk as I walk as I hear them talk I hear they say expect the fire to blast walk down the hotel road to the sound of reggae I'm alive I'm alive and give me to the people feel the people feel the sound of music bang Caetano Veloso and Gilberto Gil and I know that one day Two giants of Brazilian music that recorded their first songs back in 1965 in the state of Bahia, in the northeast of Brazil. Eu vim da Bahia, mas eu volto pra lá. We've come to meet them in Rio, ahead of their European tour. Now celebrating 50 years of separate careers that have always intertwined. I'd like to know first how interconnected your careers are and what has Gilberto Gil brought to Caetano Veloso and what has Caetano everything. Veloso brought to Gil? <laughs> <laughs> he brought me everything. Because I, if I play a little guitar nowadays, it's because I saw him playing and I uh, just copied his movements and uh, tried to understand what they meant and, musically. And if I have deepened my curiosity about the words, you know, about poetry and words in music, it's absolutely because of him. He's one of the m most profound persons that I have, have, have ever met. During God. The God. God, <laughs> God, no, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> As young artists, Caetano and Gil, as everyone knows them here, revolutionized Brazilian music. As central figures of the Tropicalia movement in the late 1960s, they broke musical boundaries, embracing foreign influences like rock and the electric guitar, and experimenting radically. It was a very, very, very busy time for us in terms of collecting ideas and feelings and sensations and putting it all, mixing it all in, in terms of music and poetry and, and text and, 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 and behavior. And so it finally got a print on, 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 on the cultural times, you know. The Tropicalia movement was cut short by the military dictatorship it hardened its rule in 1968, and Caetano and Gil were sent to prison, and soon forced into exile. I'm wandering round and round, nowhere to go. London was their home in exile for two and a half years. London's lovely soul. I found it dark and distant and isolated from the world. Uh, the way it felt back then. And, uh, but also we knew that music there was very uh, interesting. We were in love oh, with, the the with the Beatles. The Beatles, the Stones. And the Rolling Stones. And uh, yeah. we knew, we, we were yeah. aware of what was going on in London musically. Gilles felt better. I, I, seemed felt, to I feel, felt better yeah. basically because of culture and especially music. I am very easy to, you know, <coughs> mingle and with, with musicians. And, and at home also, we used to have people, musicians and poets and uh, writers, filmmakers and that kind of thing. Both have had prolific careers over the past decades. Gil was Minister of Culture for five years and on stage navigated from Bob Marley to regional rhythms. Caetano reinvented himself in his 70s with a young band of musicians. Both are respected commentators on Brazilian life and society. About five years ago, there was this huge enthusiasm about Brazil. There were international reports, big magazine covers. 
And now the economy is in a bad place and President Dilma Rousseff is having a hard time to govern. Do you find it difficult to be optimistic about Brazil at the moment? It is difficult, but I'll tell you, when I saw those uh, magazine covers, the Economist cover with the Corcovado Christ, you know, taking uh, off, taking off <laughs> and everything, <laughs> I thought this, this is exaggerated. Yeah, of course. So I hope all the pessimism that's going on now is a little bit exaggerated, exaggerated too. too. <laughs> I think Brazil can be a very important yeah, experience of experience, uh, yeah. social life. Yeah. Can be. It's Civil horrible the way it is. It has uh, uh, lots of horrible things in its history. And we only know about failure and everything. But it's not only that. It's, uh, it's an opportunity of originality mm -hmm. because, you know, we are this giant country in the southern hemisphere, highly mixed racially. We are Latin Americans, but we are not one with the rest of Latin America because we speak Portuguese. We had been a, a monarchy until too late. Slavery has been abolished too late. But all that is nice in Brazil could be put together in a better balanced way and we could really say something to the world in a sweet tone. <laughs> yes, I know that one day I must die. I'm, I'm, I'm. This is how they'll perform in their European tour, just soft voices and guitars. Here remembering one of Caetano's songs written during their exile in London. Make me cry, I'm alive. Nine out of ten movie stars make me cry, I'm alive. Nine out of ten movie stars make me cry, I'm alive. Bonito. <laughs>